It's open. Mm, really? Never would have guessed. The bed. Who's been sleeping here? Maybe. Not really. Bed's made. There's no pillows. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer Maybe look. The man with the sword. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. 11. Now, what does that mean? So we have the figure 11 twice underlined and a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere, and it must be associated with the figure 11. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with a figure, maybe? St. Mark from the collection of the Apostles by Guido Rini. A fragment of amber. Amber. Several portraits of Apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Toilet. No. It's over here. St. John is known as the youngest of Christ's apostles. Well, we often give credit to St. John for having written about the apocalypse in the last book of the Bible. You say so. St. John, painted by Guido Rini. Okay. The New Testament. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the? And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth oh, of Galilee wait a minute. and was baptized by John and Jordan. Um. Man. Something about eleven in here, right? Chapter seven, verse and eleven. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. Um. Can I do all these? Do all Oops. things without murmurings that? and disputes. But much. he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Oh, 
11 11. It was underlined twice. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait, a note from Mother is carefully folded between the pages here. What does it say? Dear E, I'm glad you found e. this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where, and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative, awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does Mother mean by that? Um... The painting looks like it's been taken down recently. But wasn't my mother said that she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle? Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? One to the left, three to the right. St. John is the only apostle painted in this gallery who hasn't got a beard. Hey, wait! That means it's him. He's the youngest apostle. Right. This painting is therefore associated with the answer which E had to give to my mother. Now, I just need to know how to recover the answer. On the second day, the pilgrims listened to the prophecy of the young apostle. The prophecy of the young apostle, that was John. And the prophecy mentioned is most likely the book of Revelations according to St. John. Um, epistles of all one, two, uh, Romans. I'm glad you found this. No one's afraid the code of two Christians would mislead you. Get the package, you know where and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? Is there a, is there like a safe around here somewhere? Oh. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Reni. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Key somewhere. One fell on the floor, didn't it? Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. I... This spring. painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, the finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, 
and receives the light from his savior. Mm -hmm. Saint Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? Chest with the occult symbol representing air. I use next skill is free. Okay. Oh, I wasn't even. I can't even pick this up. Amber fragments. Amber. Okay. Oh, what's this? There's something else behind this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? There's something else behind this painting. It says half Ugh. of each group will join the first city Not something of else. Corinth. The same thing. What the hell does that mean? Taken, numbered respectively 12 and 14 in the last painting. With the simple operation suggested, that would mean that the new groups are 6 and 7. What? So lost. Must be the group of pilgrims mentioned from before. I guess maybe the city of Corinth is a reference to the epistle from Corinthians in the Bible. A drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Nothing worth noticing here. Hmm. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. It's a sentence in Hebrew. Choosing the Hebrew alphabet is no coincidence. It's it's gotta be a reference to the Bible. Too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. Mm. No, nothing of value here. What? There are finger marks, deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. you know where hide it where no one will find it I don't know where uh, look at all the paintings St. Paul painted by Guido Rini St. Paul is shown holding a sword strange there's hardly any dust as if the painting's been cleaned recently there's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 yeah, on the I painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? Weirdy. 
Of the four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the 13th apostle. There's one to the left, three to the right. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Are Guido Pliny. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. somewhere. I think what side? Dante's Paradise. Nope. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. Did something to do with the, the book? Analyze the book. This volume dates from the first edition of Gutenberg. It's the first book that was ever printed. The pages are covered in annotations in Latin, French, and Hebrew. Someone spent years studying this Bible. Could it be like uh, chapter one, verse three, something like that? On the left, three to the right. One to the left, three to the right. That could be a thing. From the beginning, read and it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John and Jordan. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat. Oh, this is my body. It's going to be a long time. And the woman was given two wings of a great eagle Ooh. that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent hey a new note it's been folded carefully in the corner of this page the writing it, it, it's not my mother's s i found the book in your effects I've concealed it where no one can get their hands on it. Okay, so the I can one assure three you, was adding waiting one instructions, to the first I will hear your reply, like he who hears the angel. The second number. Here's the angel. With 11, 11. What does that mean? Oh, it's probably the place where she was expecting to get the location of the next note. 
Okay, what would you say? Um. Oh my god. Um. Like he who hears the angel. very hungry and would have eaten but while they were made ready he fell into a trance hey there's a note here a message from mother eight, and, and then there's six seeds we must leave urgently but first i absolutely must go beyond the nightmare watch out for volner he figured out i was avoiding him a lay suspicion see you tomorrow evening stand ready for now let's cease all communication until we meet Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. Oh. What does she mean okay. by that? I'm guessing it's a metaphor. Get everything else she does. I need to figure out what this means. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. I guess I already saw the six eight. I want the random ones up now. Um okay, so I can leave now. Oh, I did not understand my mother's message. I could have found the conversation between my mother and her partner. Um, yeah, I don't understand any of it. I convinced Lord Mortimer of the culpability of a suspect to discover mother's message. Okay, what we'll put the pump points in? Um, logic, ability. I want only four points. Vigilance. That was one that came up a lot. And I need four points. I have level one. Politics. Use your coordination against your surroundings, sometimes against people. I don't think that's that important, except for getting that crap on a ledge. Questioning. I have level one. Ten points for that? Oh my god. Let's get I have a point. Um no point in that. Yeah, I don't know. Just kinda of throwing stuff around. My next reading. Oh, so many choices. Let's see, it gives me a skill in questioning, irritation, questioning. Oh, you get three points for that one? I 
I can go with that, I guess. 